The Sungus Center at UMass Lowell, home of the Hockey River Hawks, and oh, so much more. A wide variety of events take place on the floor that we are so used to seeing covered with ice. Yes, there's hockey, and yes, there are ice shows, but there are also concerts, trade shows, university and high school commencement. There is even a monster truck show, whatever that is. The facility is rented to a variety of organizations for various events. And so we thought we'd take a look at 48 hours at the Sungus Center. Some explanation offered by Senior Events Manager Kyle Swartz from Global Spectrum, the company that manages the facility for UMass Lowell. Since uh, July, we've uh, we've been pretty busy uh, with October and January probably being our two busiest months. And we've done a wide variety of events from trade shows to concerts of all different genres. We've had Bob Dylan. We've had a heavy metal show such as Slayer Megadeth. We've had Event Sevenfold, which which uh, was a sold out event in January. We've had R&B and rap. We had the uh, annual Kiss Jingle Ball here, so uh, concerts is a big avenue for us and other events that we do are probably uh, the hockey games and sporting events. Uh, we did a local uh, Lowell High School wrestling tournament here. We've done the uh, Hoop Slam, Holiday Hoop Slam, which uh, incorporated UML teams as well as the high school area high school teams. So done a wide variety of things and still looking to branch out, you know, doing trade shows and just a multitude of other functions, uh, whether it's uh, dinners on the arena floor to, uh, you know, utilizing our function space, uh, the new pavilion deck. Talent Club, uh, doing dinner parties in there, or, or things of that nature. So we're looking to branch out and continue uh, bringing in events. So we open the doors at nine o'clock in the morning, sometimes earlier. We run ice rentals immediately following UML practice, and they go as late as uh, eleven o'clock at night. And that includes, you know, the local youth teams all around the area. So and also the university uses it for their rec league uh, programs. So generally speaking, with most of our changeover, um, we have anywhere between uh, fifteen to twenty people and can estimate anywhere between four to four to five hours, uh, just depending on, you know, what we're converting into. You know, ice is a is a fragile surface, so, uh, you know, you see the Zamboni go around four times just to kind of maintain the ice, bring it back up to playing level, and also, you know, you, d you don't know what was on there the night before that may have seeped between the cracks and may have burned a hole or something of that nature, so the guys, uh, you know, not only use the Zambonis, but they'll be out there on their on their two feet putting snow back in where uh, holes were burnt through and things of that nature, and it's done immediately, so... <laughs> they don't wait around for us, so.